Well, good morning, Leeds United fans. Hope you're all doing fantastically well as this dreary weather pounds down on us yet again. What a country, eh? Summer, my arse. <laughs> but luckily enough for myself, I am heading out to Bielsa Land, Bilbao, uh, tomorrow. So a lot of the videos will be from there, which is going to be a nice change of scenery. I know a lot of you guys actually enjoy me doing a little bit of a walk around. Figured out, shout out to John from Robin Hood's Bay that he feels like he's walking here with me. And you could be doing, John. We could be going to get some milk together, mate. But here we are. Or a coffee. Probably a coffee needed this morning. I think so. A little bit of a recap on the Euros so far. Obviously, it's had no Leeds United involvement <laughs> whatsoever, which was a, it's a massive difference, isn't it, from when we were, we were uh, sort of in the Premier League with Bielsa and it was Cork and it was Rodrigo and it was Llorente and... Obviously, Phillips, I believe, was was called to the England side there, and it was just a very different, <laughs> very different phase of Leeds United. And yeah, to say now it's like we're struggling for any sort of international development and recognition when it comes to players, yeah, it's uh, it's a bit of a weird one. But so far, I believe, memory wise, we've only had one of our players even even involved, which has been Liam Cooper off the bench. So there you go. In a strange sort of sense, it's it's <clears throat> you have got to look at that, you know, Liam Cooper has gone to a tournament <laughs> with Scotland and has barely played for Leeds United whatsoever. He's in contract talks right now with the club. And you do wonder, don't you, what's going to happen to him? I personally think he's going to move on. As I said, I think he'll do a job for maybe one of the, the newly promoted sides in the Championship. I could still soon see him doing a job for the majority of teams at this level, to be honest with you, I just don't think he's good enough to be in the Leeds United ranks at anywhere near to starting. But, you know, I think maybe a different system. I think maybe a different manager. You know, I genuinely believe that it could be a good move for someone like Liam Cooper. And it's going to be interesting to see his development as well as, as many others going forward. So, normally, guys, what I've been trying to do is get out a couple of videos <clears throat> a day. But I'm not going to BS you if they're not doing anything. And there's no movement whatsoever <laughs> in terms of like, you know, news or whatever. I can't really do anything. I can't really do anything. I'm not going to BS you. There's some of you guys who just think I come on here and just decide to do videos and with no real topic. Well, believe it or not, yeah, I will have 35, 40 minute discussions about Leeds United players and, uh, and, and genuinely have opinions on X, Y and Z, uh, like we've just spoken about with Liam Cooper. But... Yeah, when it comes to a lot of the transfer news, it's quiet right now. We mentioned that we think it's because of the Euros. You know, that's always going to be a thing. Um, Leeds obviously need to get <clears throat> out of that phase. And, you know, when that when that happens, I think a lot of the transfer activity might begin. But right now it's difficult. Players, agents and stuff like that. But, you know, there's a bit of news on Alfie Gilchrist at this moment in time. Chelsea have uh, pretty much suggested all ends up that there's going to be a lot of their young, younger players going out on loan this season you know that could be that could be uh, the, it's muted from the Chelsea side that it could be five it could be eight it could be ten of their under 18 to under 20 players obviously one includes Alfie Gilchrist that feels like one that's pretty obvious to Leeds United it's us Blackburn and Preston involved in that one and it obviously accentuates Leeds United's need for a right back of which we know anyway Another bit of news right now is Ben Johnson. And the reason I'm bringing Ben Johnson up is because Leeds were interested in him in January. Spoke to West Ham in January. Had a bit of discourse over whether or not he was available. He was available, but then right at the last minute towards the back end of January, West Ham turned around and said, look, we want to keep him around. We want him to be, obviously, that rotation uh, for, for Vladimir Kufal. Obviously, now David Moyes has gone. It's going to be fascinating to see with Lopetegui coming in how he would utilise someone like Ben Johnson. You feel like Ben Johnson has a higher ceiling than Vladimir Kufal. In my personal opinion, when you're looking at them, I think Ben Johnson's more agile, he's quicker. I think defensively, Kufal's a better player, but going forward, there's a conversation to be had there. And the reason we're having a discussion about this is because, obviously, Ben Johnson is a target of Leeds United. So there's been a five-year deal put on the table for Johnson. <clears throat> and apparently... That is said to be rejected by the West Ham right back who I absolutely love this attitude, wants minutes. And I absolutely love that. I think there's too much in football in the way of just being happy to sit on the bench. And if Ben Johnson was to come to Leeds, 
that is a real testament to his character, a proper testament to his character, rejecting a massive deal from West, West Ham, which is supposedly a good deal, according to the West Ham side of things. If he's to do that and Leeds are to get some a, a player who just wants to play and wants minutes, and yeah, I love that. I think that's a really good attitude. And it'll be fascinating to see how that one develops, really. But yeah, one to definitely keep an eye on, Ben Johnson. Um, but yeah, as I say, championship level, I think it'll be a top sign. And if you to probably give me him or Alfie Gil Gilchrist right now, I'd definitely take Johnson on a permanent deal. I think that'd be a lovely little addition. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Okay, so the next individual that I wanted to discuss uh, today is Leeds United's very own Crisencio Somerville. Now, <clears throat> a little bit of research this morning from the Liverpool side has suggested, has reported, that steps for Crisencio Somerville's signature will step, steps for him, will step up. Teams will step up for his signature in the coming weeks now. Obviously, this is after the conversation we've had the other day, which is no formal bids have been made. Chrysensio Somerville, we all know, has said that he's happy at the club. He's not going to, you know, we know, we know he's not going to force his way out of the club. As I said, he's 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 elated with the season he's had, and he, you know, he seems comfortable at Leeds. He seems really, really comfortable. So, with that in mind, you were thinking to yourself, it got to a stage where it was like, well, you know, is he? Is he going to want to move here? Is he bothered and all this sort of stuff? And, you know, you're turning around and thinking, my goodness, but according to, uh, well, the Anfield side of things, today anyway, clubs are going to be stepping up for his signature in the next coming weeks, which makes a lot more sense, to be honest with you. I did think it was going to be a little bit <laughs> crazy to just hear of a window where Somerville doesn't have any formal bids. You know, we know there's interest there. We know there's probably inquiries there as well. And it's going to be uh, interesting, to say the least, to see how many offers Leeds receive for Somerville um, and what the price, what the price is. Willie Nonso. Uh, well, the odds have dropped a little bit this morning for him and the move to Everton, which is obviously, you know, naturally the odds, the bookies is just spread out really by people just betting and betting and betting on certain moves. You know, it's like England in the Euros, the reason that we are certain favourites is obviously there's bookies expertise expertise but also there's 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 massive betting odds that are driven by people actually putting money on so yeah interesting to see that one develop in terms of England of course but Willie Nonto Everton is still in the picture we mentioned AC Milan we've mentioned Roma but Everton are well in the picture as well when it comes to the bookies odds and it's going to be interesting because I wonder if the Jack Harrison deal is going to impact that because we know that there's a little bit of longevity in the in the Harrison deal, we know that's probably making a little bit more sense at the minute for Everton and for their system with Dyche, with McNeil on one side, Harrison on the other, in comparison to, to a Willian Yon. So I think, you know, if, if you are looking at it logistically, are Everton really going to be spending the best part of 25, 30 million quid, giving that to Leeds United and probably more actually, probably looking at 40 million quid, you know, <clears throat> is it realistic? Is it really realistic? To think that they're going to do that I don't think so I don't think so and that's why I consistently keep banging on the drum of these Serie A clubs because whether or not it's a loan with an obligation to buy or whether or not it's an actual permanent transfer I don't know but I just don't think it's realistic to be looking at a scenario where Everton do two deals I do think they're going to do Jack Harrison but the beneficial side of that is that now he has another loan in his, in his deal so as I sit down with him having another loan in his deal, that obviously means that he's naturally going to go back to Everton for one more season. But you would expect them to take up a permanent signing, maybe a little bit later on down the line and cheaper with him being a year older and a year on when it comes to his Leeds United contract. So that's something to take into consideration. Is it something where Everton would do it a year down the line? That's obviously a conversation, but them doing a loan right now for Harrison and getting in willing on so might make more sense because of that loan in Harrison's contract, basically. <laughs> um, so yeah, keep an eye on that one, everybody. But let me know what you think in the comment section below to all of these rumors. Um, let me know what you think and uh, like, comment, subscribe, check on over to the Patreon. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'll see you in a bit.